Hello and welcome to another audio analysis. In today's video, we take a look at the most recent track from the American rock band Framing Hanley titled Start a Fire. This is the first single to be released since their 2020 album Envy, which had some great tracks including songs such as Puzzle Pieces, and the band are most well known for their track Lollipop from their 2007 album The Moment. And despite some other great releases including their 2010 album A Promise to Burn and 2014's The Sum of Who We Are, the band have never able to remain consistent in their lineup. They've constantly chopping and changing members. Even since reforming and releasing Envy, they have lost two of their five members and are now down to a three piece with a two ring drummer. So, will this latest track give them the spark they need or be simply starved of oxygen? Let's take a look at exactly how it sounds. How we wound up this way The mortgage is the future For a seat at the table With a plate full of shameful mistakes They'll swallow Addicted to the game that they play Like a dose accuser Who just keeps coming clean And leaving the scene No sorrow Okay, I'm really loving this first verse. We've got some really interesting lyrics that are thrown in here, and which straight away we can see that it's almost taking a stab at somebody. They mortgaged the future for a seat at the table. They bought their way to this table with a plate full of shameful mistakes. So this idea of not being punished for your mistakes is something we're seeing from this. It's tragic how we wound up this way. So you could possibly see this as being a very inclusive track, just based off these first couple of lyrics, addicted to the game that they play. So it's it's almost like it could be maybe centered towards politicians or something like that, or it could be other people in your life who kind of kind of use ill ways to get to the top or to really trample on others. This idea of keep coming clean and then leaving the scene. So you don't regret kind of standing over people or putting other people down to get to where you want to go. But it's interesting how it has the lyric, we can't get any higher. So it's interesting this idea of we can't climb because these people above us are stopping us from doing so. So I certainly feel from these first few lyrics it does have this idea of kind of being oppressed almost and one thing I want to touch on is Kenneth Nixon's vocals I love how he has this very playful yet seductive sounding to his vocal style it's something that they've done on previous albums he kind of has this two different tones that he likes to play with it has this what we've seen in the first verse it's almost this natural swing almost like a natural hiss to it and at other times he can really turn on that aggression at the drop of a hat and kind of have a much more aggressive tone but I love how he's got these two different Different styles that you can really tap into to really get the full effect out of a track. Okay, I really like with this chorus, we've got this idea of women screaming from the nose. Is this starting to feel like a bit of a fight back song? Almost this idea of mama raised me on crazy and coke, not afraid of the fight. I'm not afraid of being burnt. I'm used to dealing with a lot of this negativity and it could tie in with that idea as well. I know Kenneth Nixon's had some rough things go on in his life and it has been the reason why the band have taken the occasional hiatus or had to drop out of certain things. So it could be that idea of I'm sick of light being like walked on. I'm sick of lying down. The time for laying down is over, burn it to the ground, and then they, they, they're fighting back, not stopping till they're six feet below. Let's start a fire. Let's kind of be that spark that ignites this fight back. So great how we're seeing that come through the chorus when you have those higher, that higher energy. And this is a song that's got a strong pacing to it, a very strong thumping flow, which really does help when it builds in the chorus to really push that idea of really bouncing back after the kind of slightly slower verses. Here is a slippery slope when you worship so you bury our sons and our daughters for fun And it's bullshit And don't you deny the blood is on your fingers You let it get this far You close your eyes and hold the darkness lingers 
And we're seeing it more through these verses as well, this idea of you can't deny the blood is on your fingers. So it definitely feels like it's kind of aiming slightly towards this idea of government, this idea of wars that have, been ha that have happened, this idea of you try to close your eyes and just hope that it goes away, but the lights are really on you now. You've kind of been exposed almost. So we are seeing lots of different ways that this song could be tied into a lot of different messages, really taking a stab at lots of different people. It could be someone that's very destructive in your family. It could be a higher power that's oppressing you. There's a lot of variety we can really draw from it. And I really love the drumming on this track. It really does add a very strong pace to it. Just the constant rhythm being brought in, really just adding a strong punch. And throughout parts of the track, we've also had this clap, like this soft clap in the background as well, which is really, again, just continually adding to that pace. And the same with the guitars. They're just progressing and really adding pace, really taking and traveling the track along at a really strong pace. So I like they've got that. I like that it's not a super slow song. It does really build that energy, kind of gives you that energy to really fight back. I really love how towards the late, later stages of the track, they actually went and mixed up the pacing on the song itself. It really did add a nice way to really end, a nice strong flourish, kind of added a bit more thumping energy, just uh, even with that slower pace to the end of the track. And that is certainly a very, very catchy song. Certainly the chorus has a really strong hook on it that really does pull you in. And I love Kenneth Nixon just really playing around with these vocals between the verse and the chorus. It gives the song there's such a strong pull, such a strong swing to it, as well as the drums especially, really adding that quick fire pace that you need for a song that is all about starting a fire, for rising up against the things that are either oppressing you, or the things that are holding you back, or just the people that are causing a lot of destruction and devastation in your life. So lots of meaning, a really strong track, and really a great return for the band. It does have a lot more punch and a lot more bite than we did see from many of the tracks on their album End which had a much more softer tone to it and was much more slower paced. So I'm glad they returned to this quicker pace, this really fast pace that we did see on some of their early albums, including the sum of who we are. So I was really impressed with that track and I'm hoping to hear more from the band if it's gonna sound just like this. So that would be everything for today's video, but please feel free to let me know your thoughts about this track in the comments section. But if you've never heard of these guys before, they're definitely worth a listen. Certainly some of their earlier albums, pretty much most of their albums have had a lot of strength to them. It's just been unfortunate that they've not been able to kind of remain consistent. There's been some quite big gaps between some albums, certainly between the sum of who we are in 2014 and Envy in 2020, but many of their songs are definitely worth a listen. But please do let me know your thoughts about this particular track as well. And if you want see more content like this then please do feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next Dojo Analysis.